In the previous class, we were talking about uh, nitration process. In the previous lecture, I was discussing about nitration, how benzene uh, react with the nitric acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid and produce nitrobenzene. We were talking about that electrophilic substitution reaction mechanism of the benzene. And today, I'm going to address about halogenation process, how benzene and arenes react with halogens and produce so haloarene compounds like chlorobenzene formation, bromobenzene formation. If the arenes generally react with halogens with Lewis acids, ferrochloride, anhydrous ferrochloride, ferric bromide, aluminium trichloride, and produce haloarene compounds. So why the benzene react with ferric chloride and ferric bromide, so aluminum chloride, sorry, in the presence of these, let me talk about. So in the previous lecture, I was discussing about uh, uh, electrophilic substitution reaction, nitration of the benzene how benzene react with the nitric acid, concentrated nitric acid in the presence of sulfuric acid to produce nitrobenzene I was discussing about. In continuation to the electrophilic substitution reaction, there is one more halogenation also. That means arenes react with halogens in the presence of Lewis acid, anhydrous compounds, ferric chloride, ferric bromide, aluminum trichloride and producing haloarene compounds halogen derivated compounds. Example, the benzene react with halogen, chlorine or bromine and produces bromobenzene. That means here, benzene is a compound. Benzene is a compound. Example for arene. So when benzene react with halogen, if you take uh, example of halogen is uh, bromine, if you take bromine, you can take chlorine also, you can take the Br2, Br2, bromine, if you take, and uh, so bromine, when benzene react with the bromine, it produces, the compound is, the compound we get is that bromobenzene will get the bromobenzene will get bromo plus the byproduct we can get is HBr HBr so when benzene is the compound that react with the bromine and the form bromobenzene plus HBr we can get. And remember this reaction is not addition reaction. This reaction is electrophilic substitution reaction. Unlike alkenes, benzene react with the bromine or halogens in different different to form haloderivated products. So this is what we call Bromination, we say it is a bromination, we can say bromination of benzene. And this is the reaction is taking place in the presence of ferric bromide. This reaction takes place in the presence of ferric bromide, ferric bromide, in the presence of ferric bromide, the reaction takes place. Let us uh, look into this mechanism of bromination of benzene. How the bromine react with the benzene to form the bromobenzene. We'll look into the mechanism. In this, if you uh, look into the mechanism of the bromination of the benzene mechanism, if you look into this, in step one, what happened in the step one? Activation of Lewis acid. For example, we are taking Lewis acid is ferric bromide. This is the this is the ferric bromide. The ferric ion is bonded to this three bromine atoms, ferric bromide. 
so which is lewis acid property it has lewis acid property electron deficient we say this is the br2 when br2 approaches this lewis acid reagent the lone pair of electron is given to the iron because here iron is lewis electron deficient electron deficient iron is electron deficient here the lone pair electron is given to this iron as a result of this there is bromine bond is polarized because of lone pair is converted to sigma bond here lone pair is converted to bond then there is bromine bond is broken bromine bond is broken here when the bromine bond is broken there is electrophile is produced so then ferric bromide changes into nucleophile so this step is said to be what we call means activation of lewis acid we say activation of lewis acid or the bromine bond is broken heterolytically or generation of electrophile that means br br sorry so br plus br plus ion is formed electrophile is produced in this so this step is otherwise called this step is otherwise called electrophile generation this step is otherwise called electrophile generation step 2 in if you uh, look into the step 2 step 2 of the mechanism step 2 of the mechanism the generated electrophile the generated electrophile this generated electrophile so can i would like to erase this so here uh, the electrophile that is generated in step 2 attack this this bromine cation bromine electrophile attack this benzene ring since the benzene ring consisting of pi electrons benzene ring consisting of pi electrons the bromine plus ion attack this benzene pi electrons so pi electrons is given to this bromine and this br becomes a negative look at this the pi electrons given to this bromine so now the bromine this bromine is linked to this carbon and so here on the benzene there is carbo cation is formed then this is fe br4 minus is produced and carbo cation is formed on the benzene one bromine is attached to the carbon here electrophile is attached this is carbo cation intermediate compound this is this is called carbo cation so once the carbo cation is formed it undergo resonance structure delocalization of pi bond electron takes place within that so we can get resonance forms and this carbo cation intermediate so when this carbo cation uh means undergo stabilization the sigma bond of this hydrogen converted into pi bond inside in order to neutralize this positive charge then this proton is taken by this br so ferric bromide this anion complex will take this proton and forms into ferric bromide and hbr is produced look at this reaction here so the third step the third step that takes place here is that third step deprotonation this carbo cation undergoes deprotonation means loss of the proton when this carbo cation undergoes deprotonation the sigma bond is converted into pi bond then this h will combine with the bromine and forms into hbr hbr is formed and again catalyst is lewis acid is produced again back so this is bromo benzene is obtained bromo benzene is the compound is obtained 
that means here first step is electrophile generation activation of lewis acid step 2 is attack of the electrophile on the benzene step 3 is deprotonation and in the final step we get this bromo benzene we can get this is the main product hbr and catalyst is we obtain at the end of the reaction this is electrophilic substitution reaction halogenation we call in the place of uh, uh, bromine you can take chlorine also and remember this is not addition reaction this is substitution reaction hydrogen is replaced by the halogen substitution reaction this is not addition reaction so that is a special uh, reaction of that benzene unlike alkenes now let us look into another electrophilic uh, substitution reaction example called sulfonation so benzene also undergoes sulfonation in this when benzene react with concentrated sulfuric acid benzene react with the concentrated sulfuric acid to form benzene sulfonic acid and in this water also produced as a by product when benzene react with the sulfuric acid it produce benzene sulfonic acid this is called benzene sulfonic acid is the product main product when the benzene undergoes sulfonation so that means here the replacement of hydrogen atom in the benzene the replacement of hydrogen atom in the benzene by the sulfonic acid by the sulfonic acid this is the sulfonic acid group SO3H sulfonic acid group is SO3H in a ring is called sulfonation that means when benzene is treated with the sulfuric acid is said to be sulfonation we say which is an example of electrophilic substitution reaction that means when benzene is heated with the fuming sulfuric acid is said to be sulfonation we say let us look into this mechanism of this what mechanism is involved in this same mechanism what we have seen in this electrophilic substitution reaction mechanism so and in this now let us look into this mechanism so how the uh, mechanism goes in this sulfonation the mechanism is associated here is that the mechanism is simple electrophilic substitution reaction and the first step in the step 1 in the step 1 again generation of electrophile in the step 1 generation of electrophile is there the electrophile is what is the electrophile here is that sorry so the electrophile is uh, made the main electrophile that is uh, generated in this reaction is that sulfonic this is the electrophile is produced so3 plus h electrophile the strong electrophile this is how this is produced we can say here when benzene is treated with this fuming sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is available in the form of oleum so oleum formula is h2 h2o7 or else so we can uh, take two moles of sulfuric acid if you take two moles of sulfuric acid if you take in that so one sulfuric acid molecule act like acid other sulfuric acid act like the base then there could be protonation so when protonation is done between the two sulfuric acid molecules so one will be produced sulfonic acid other will be bisulfate ion we can get so if you take sulfuric acid sulfuric acid or we can explain this like this also but this is the sulfuric acid molecule when so3 gas is passed into the sulfuric acid we can get oleum by the protonation process this so3 the pi bond is given to this proton this is called protonation the lone pair is given to this proton then sigma bond will convert to negative charge the bond is broken here bond is broken here you can see 
when this proton is given to this when the proton is added to this so then this molecule become into electrophile because the positive charge is produced on the sulfonium ion this is called sulfonium ion this is sulfonium ion is formed this is bisulfate ion is produced here that means sulfonium ion is the electrophile we say sulfonium ion is the electrophile the sulfonium ion attack the benzene look at this this is the benzene when electrophile is added to the benzene pi electrons then there is a bond formation between sulfur and this carbon and this that means so once the electro means the pi electrons given to the sulfur here there is a bond between sulfur and this carbon there is a positive charge is created on the carbon on this carbon then this is said to be what we call means carbocation of sulfuric sulfuric acid the carbocation is reaction intermediate is formed here and this reaction intermediate undergoes resonance forms different resonance forms it undergoes so the pi electrons delocalize within the ring the positive charge shift will be there so on the para position now so again the positive charge shifting to the ortho position here you can see and when it, the positive charge after delocalization then the sigma bond is converted into pi bond sigma bond is converted into pi bond here and this hydrogen the proton is abstracted by that base or nucleophile this nucleophile abstract this proton so then when this nucleophile abstract this proton the sigma bond is converted into pi bond then we can get benzene sulfonic acid we can get this is hybrid resonance hybrid structure now at the final step Step, look at this the hydrogen between this hydrogen and carbon the sigma bond is converted to pi bond this proton is taken by this sulfonic bisulfate ion sorry bisulfate ion and forms into again sulfuric acid is produced sulfuric acid so is produced back here this is and it we can get benzene sulfuric acid is a main product is obtained in this mechanism so uh, since sulfonic is a electrophile attacking this nucleophile called benzene and by replacing the hydrogen atom by replacing the hydrogen atom is said to be electrophilic substitution reaction <coughs> sorry that means electrophile replacing the hydrogen atom present at the benzene is said to be electrophilic substitution reaction this is said to be sulfonation we call it is said to be sulfonation so in this sulfonation also generation of electrophile sulfonium ion attack of the sulfonium ion on benzene third step is deprotonation that means electrophilic substitution reaction can be explained in three steps number 1 generation of electrophile number 2 attack of the electrophile on the benzene number 3 deprotonation of the benzene and to form the final product called benzene sulfonic acid benzene sulfonic acid so now let me discuss about another example of uh, another example for electrophilic substitution reaction is that friedel craft alkylation the friedel craft alkylation is also comes under electrophilic substitution reaction so when benzene treated with this alkyl halide alkyl halide in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride in the anhydrous aluminum chloride here anhydrous aluminum chloride so here is uh, so anhydrous okay so there is a smelly mistake and uh, now when benzene is treated with this alkyl halide alkyl halide so in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride so then alkyl benzene is formed alkyl benzene is so produced 
alkyl benzene is formed here now let us look into this reaction this is the benzene and uh, react with the so methyl chloride methyl chloride so in the presence of anhydrous so alcl3 so then we get toluene or methyl benzene we can get hcl is the by product the same mechan mechanism so when this methyl chloride bond is broken heterolytically the chlorine get the negative charge and the methyl group get the positive charge here electrophile is a methyl and this chlorine is bonding with this temporarily bonding with this alcl3 and alcl4 is produced then methyl group attack this uh, so benzene methyl group attack the pi electrons here this is methyl group attacking this benzene then methyl benzene banega similarly when this ethyl chloride also react with this um, uh, benzene and here there is a heterolytic fusion takes place in the presence of this lewis catalyst and the cl will form this negative charge and ethyl will form the positive charge then uh, the cl and temporarily bonding with this uh, alcl3 and alcl4 is produced then uh, so pi bond of the benzene so given to this pi electrons are given to this ethyl carbo cation to form ethyl benzene this is said to be so friedel craft alkylation means so benzene is uh, alkylated or benzene uh, means uh, react with the alkyl halide and forms into so ethyl benzene we say similarly so there is a friedel craft uh, craft acylation also there similar uh, mechanism and in this so benzene is uh, treated with the uh, acyl halide which is called ethanol chloride this is so uh, what we call means acyl halide is iupac iupac name ethanol chloride we say in the presence of anhydrous lewis acid lcl3 so and produces acyl benzene ethanol chloride will get the same mechanism so and uh, in the presence of alcl3 there is a bond polarized pi bond is uh, polarized to this oxygen and the oxygen get negative charge and the carbon get the positive charge here in the presence of the lewis uh, catalyst then the bond is uh, broken this bond is broken here this bond is broken then uh, cl negative uh, temporarily making bond with this alcl3 since it is lewis acid property then so we will get alcl4 minus and uh, since here carbon electrophilicity the carbon get electrophilicity here positive charge is formed being formed here positive charge is formed here then the pi electron or this pi electron is uh, given to this carbon this pi electron is given to this uh, so carbo cation or electrophilicity of the carbon then this carbon is making bond with this carbon and forming into ch3 co benzene so this is ethanol benzene is formed so this is the main product uh, acyl benzene we say this is friedel craft acylation we say now <coughs> and uh, so i was telling about the benzene exhibit uh, electrophilic substitution reactions uh, which is uh, exceptional chemical properties of the benzene we say apart from this electrophilic substitution reaction benzene also undergoes addition reactions under different conditions like alkenes i was talking about so addition reactions the benzene undergoes at high temperature and high pressure in the presence of the nickel catalyst benzene undergo hydrogenation process at high temperature and high pressure in the presence of the nickel catalyst so benzene undergo hydrogenation hydrogenation which is addition uh, reaction we say like alkenes and forms the compound is said to be cyclohexane cyclohexane is a aliphatic compound cyclohexane is formed here 
That means here is the benzene when react with the hydrogen, three moles of hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel and the platinum catalyst at 473 and uh, 573 Kelvin temperature, then benzene is uh, converted into, so what is the compound, you know, benzene is com converted into cyclohexane, which is aliphatic compound. So it is nothing but uh, addition of hydrogen atom to the double bond present in the benzene. All the double bonds are converted to single bond in this at high temperature in the presence of uh, nickel and platinum catalyst. Benzene is converted to alkane in this. This is addition reaction we say. And next number two, uh, so halogenation. So halogenation, earlier we were talking about halogenation, electrophilic halogenation, but here the halogenation in the presence of sunlight. So this is addition halogenation we say. Under ultraviolet condition, ultraviolet light, so means in the presence of sunlight or ultraviolet light, so three molecules of chlorine uh, when added to the benzene, three molecules of oh, chlorine, three molecules of chlorine is added to, uh, to the benzene, so to benzene and benzene produces benzene hexachloride, benzene hexachloride which is called uh, gamaxine or gamaxine is the compound uh, is formed. So here is uh, benzene when react with the chlorine and form in the presence of sunlight condition then we can get uh, so what is the compound you know uh, hexachlorocyclohexane how many chlorine atoms are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 hexachlorocyclohexane so means all the hydrogen atoms that means here uh, uh, means chlorine attached to the six chlorine atoms attached to six carbon atoms in this. So this is addition of chlorine atom to the double bond is addition reaction we call addition reaction. The last reaction of the benzene is that when uh, arenes or the benzene undergoes combustion in the air and it burns with sooty flame, it can produce sooty flame and producing CO2 and H2O. This is chemical combustion of the benzene. So, and by observing this sooty flame, easily we'll identify whether the compound is saturated or unsaturated. So, these are the fundamental reactions or main reactions shown by the benzene. <coughs> so, uh, two types electrophilic and addition reactions it can exhibit. Thank you.